saya Dan Dadan And welcome to Daddy Daughter Moments Daddy Daughter Conversations Where we get to talk about things of life <laughs> Yeah, life issues, yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But before we start, please make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe and subscribe. subscribe And hit the notification bell so you don't get to miss any of our videos and any of our segments once we drop them And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Our username is still the same. And the, all of those social medias are on our dashboard in our channel. Yeah, thank you so much. Baby. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about alcoholism. Alcoholism. So what is alcoholism, baby? Alcoholism is like the addiction to alcohol. Addiction to alcohol. So mm-hmm. when someone becomes addicted when they take something, too much, isn't mm-hmm. it? Yeah. yeah. It interferes with their life, mm-hmm. their relationships, mm-hmm. and even their physical and mental health. The, what are some of the, like you said, of course, the causes, the things that happen when you take alcohol? Is alcohol? What are some of the other things that would happen to you if you take alcohol? So, like for example, nerve damage, weight gain. You can also get a lot of pimples and acne. And you start getting you start getting seizures, especially for binge drinkers. You start getting seizures a lot, and it pretty much interferes with your health. It interferes with your health. It also gives you a lower chance of living sometimes. Gives you a lower chance of living in some situations, and then uh, why? What what makes young people take alcohol? I think the very the most reason is that we get is peer pressure. Peer pressure. So mm-hmm. sometimes you may find some of your friends who are going to be telling you that hey, if you take alcohol, you can have fun. And can you have fun without taking alcohol? Yes. Ah, so it is possible for young people to have fun without yeah. necessarily taking alcohol. I don't take alcohol when I have fun. You're still young. <laughs> 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 You're only 12. So <laughs> so what happens when you get to 13, 14, 15 and your friends tell you that uh, you're missing out on some fun? You need to take a bit of this alcohol so that you can have enough fun. I don't, I'm not gonna take it. Mm-hmm. Because I can still have a lot of more fun. Like there's a bunch of stuff I can do that does not involve alcohol and I'll still have a lot of fun. Yeah, so it's possible for someone not to take alcohol and still still have fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Bible talks about alcohol. Yes, mm. I said so in Proverbs chapter 20 verse 1. Mm. Wine is a mocker and beer is a brawler. Whoever is led astray by them is not wise. So if you allow yourself to be led astray according to Proverbs, you're being foolish. You're being foolish. So, if you are foolish, is when you put yourself into a situation where you're taking mm-hmm. alcohol. Because alcohol can also can also hurt you a lot, even when you're drinking it. Mm-hmm. Because you know, as usual, you're not you're not aware of your surroundings, so you might get hurt. Like somebody, you might go and and you know that's why there's no drunk driving, because when you drive when you're drunk. It's harder for you to pay attention to the road, and you might get into an accident. Mm. Mm-hmm. But mm. if you don't drink and you still have fun, when you go back home, you'll have a safe journey. You have a safe journey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, it it impairs your judgment, like you're saying. That's mm-hmm. why they say there's no drunk driving. Yeah. And uh, sometimes it can cause you death. Yeah. yeah, when you're drunk driving, then you get an accident. You might lose your life mm-hmm. early and because you, of carelessness. Yeah, right? and mm. you might say some stuff to other people that might really hurt them. You might say some stuff to other people that might hurt them. Mm-hmm. And then you come and say that you were drunk, so you didn't know what you were saying. Yeah, but you know, words can really hurt. So even though you were drunk, you really hurt that person. So you'll still have hurt someone because of alcohol. Mm-hmm. So generally, what are you saying? That uh, alcohol is not good. It's not good. It's not good. Mm-hmm. And would highly uh, encourage uh, parents and the youth mm-hmm. to have this conversation yes. that at times we probably think we can have fun 
only when we're taking alcohol. Mm -hmm. But uh, generally, the consequences are not very good. Yeah, you can move into addiction. Yes. When you become addicted, you have to be checked into a rehab. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll have lost your time. You'll have lost a lot of, uh, you know, uh, friends, sometimes mm -hmm. family. Yeah, because you know some kids can be also really affected because other people of their family are put into rehab because of alcohol addiction. Yeah, their parents, their other people. I mean, it, it has a lot of huge, huge impact mm -hmm. in the family. So yes. this is a conversation we need to keep having just like we are having with Lulu here. And we mm -hmm. believe that uh, uh, one person at a time uh, and hopefully uh, the teenagers will be able to take the right decision and uh, informed one. You know, as parents, we cannot force them, but we can have the conversation with them mm -hmm. and hope that uh, they stay away from that thing that is harmful mm -hmm. in their life. Because even though you don't control them, it's very good to have the conversation with them. So even though they take it, they know the consequences. They know the consequences, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. The most important thing is having the conversation. Never, the moment you stop talking, then it becomes a problem. But as long as you can have a conversation, then definitely mm -hmm. something is going to help. Because the Bible says that uh, train up a child. In the way that he shall go, and he shall not depart from it. And they shall not depart from it. And even if they depart, they remember. They will find out a way when they are they grown. They will find out a way when they are grown. So this has been a uh, me and me <laughs> <laughs> no this has been uh, okay thank you this has been me <laughs> me and my dad dad and and we just and I hope we enjoy, you enjoyed the show and you learned a lot from this show. Mm. And remember, just keep on talking, keep on finding ways to continue talking to your kids, and they will continue to listen to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And but before we end this show, please make sure to make sure to subscribe. And I'm going to give you two seconds mm -hmm. to subscribe mm -hmm. for all the newcomers out there and those mm -hmm. who haven't subscribed. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. One. Wow. Two. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for subscribing. We love you. I hope you enjoyed our show. Mwah, 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 mwah. Mwah. See you next week on Friday. See you next week. And Daddy Daughter Conversation. Yes. Let's do this. Thank you, baby. Do. Mm, bye bye.